The Law of One, Book One, The Raw Material, by Ra, a humble messenger of the Law of One. Before we start, I did contact um, the Law of One organization a couple of years ago to ask for permission to record the books. Uh, they said no, because uh, I think either Don or one of the other individuals, or maybe Carla, was going to do it before she passed. Um... So I never did it at that time. I did a search on uh, YouTube a couple of days ago, and I noticed there was a couple of channels that had um, quite a few of the books recorded. Um, I don't know how vigorous they are in regard to protecting their copyright, if the material is indeed copyrighted. Uh, I'm not going to take a chance. Uh, we've been through this before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one video at a time. Uh, I will leave it up for a specific period of time. I will take that down, uh, much like I did on the Cosmic Consciousness series, and then I will remove the first audio, and then I will upload the new audio. That way, that only gives me a liability of one video in case they uh, come after me for copyright violation. But this is really interesting information, and uh, I want I've, I've wanted it to share it for years. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take a chance. So, uh, listen to it when you have a chance. It'll only be up for like a week or two. It'll come down, and the next one will come up. There is a uh, probably 50, 60 page introduction to the first book. I'm not going to read that. Introductions bore me. So, if you want it, you can find the information online on their website. Uh, I'm going to start with session one, which took place January 15th, 1981. Ra. I am Ra. I have not spoken to this instrument before. We had to wait until she was precisely tuned as we send a narrow band vibration. We greet you in the love and the light of our infinite creator. We have watched your group. We have been called to your group, for you have a need for the diversity of experiences in channeling which go with more intensive, or as you might call it, advanced approach to the system of studying the pattern of the illusions of your body, your mind, and your spirit, which you call seeking the truth. We hope to offer you somewhat different slant upon the information which is always and ever the same. At this time, we would be glad to attempt to speak any subject or question which these entities in the room may have potential use in the requesting. Questioner. Do you have a specific purpose, and if so, could you tell us something of what your purpose is? Ra. I am Ra. We communicate now. We are those who have the law of one. In our vibration, the polarities are harmonized. The complexities are simplified. The paradoxes have a solution. We are one. That is our nature and our purpose. We are old upon your planet and have served with varying degrees of success in transmitting the law of one of unity, of singleness to your people. We have walked your planet. We have seen the faces of your people. However, we now feel the great responsibility of staying in the capacity of removing the distortions and powers that have been given to the Law of One. We will continue in this until, shall we say, your cycle is appropriately ended. If not this one, then the next. We are not a part of time and thus are able to be with you in any of your times. Does this give you enough information from which to extract our purpose, my brother? Questioner. Yes, thank you. Ra. I am Ra. We appreciate your vibrations. Is there another query? Questioner. I have heard the name Ra in connection with the Egyptians. Are you connected with that Ra in any way? Ra. I am Ra. Yes, the connection is congruency. May we elucidate. What do you not understand? Questioner, could you give me a little more detail about your role with the Egyptians? Ra, I am Ra. The identity of the vibration Ra is our identity. We, as a group, or what you would call a social memory complex, made contact with the race on your planetary kind, which you call Egyptians. Others from our density made contact at the same time in South America, and the so-called lost cities were their attempt to contribute to the Law of One. We spoke to one who heard and understood and was in a position to decree the Law of One. However, the priests and people of that era quickly distorted our message, 
robbing it of the, shall we say, compassion with which unity is informed by its very nature. Since it contains all, it cannot abhor any. When we are no longer able to have appropriate channels through which to enunciate the law of one, we removed ourselves from the now hypocritical position which we had allowed ourselves to be placed in. Other myth, shall we say, having more to do with polarity and the things of your vibration that are complex, again took over in that particular society complex. Does this form a sufficient amount of information, or could we speak further? Is there another query? Questioner. The question was lost because the questioner was sitting too far from the tape recorder to be recorded. Raw. I am raw. Consider, if you will, that the universe is infinite. This is yet to be proven or disproven. But we can assure you that there is no end to yourselves, your understanding, what you would call your journey of seeking, or your perceptions of the creation. That which is infinite cannot be many, for manyness is a finite concept. To have infinity you must identify or define the infinity as unity. Otherwise the term does not have any referent or meaning. In an infinite creator there is only unity. You have seen simple examples of unity. You have seen the prism which shows all colors stemming from the sunlight. This is a simplistic example of unity. In truth there is no right or wrong. There is no polarity for all will be, as you would say, reconciled at some point in your dance through the mind, body, spirit complex, which you amuse yourself by distorting in various ways at this time. This distortion is not in any case necessary. It is chosen by each of you as an alternative to understand the complete unity of thought which binds all things. You are not speaking of similar or somewhat like entities or things. You are everything, every being, every emotion, every event, every situation. You are unity. You are infinity. You are love, light, light love. You are, this is the law of one. May we enunciate in more detail? Questioner. No. Ra. I am Ra. Is another query at this time. Questioner. Can you comment on the coming planetary changes in our physical reality? Ra. I am Ra. I preferred to wait till his instrument had again reached a proper state of depth of singleness or one-pointedness before we spoke. The changes are very, very trivial. We do not concern ourselves with the condition which bring about harvest. Questioner. If an individual makes effort to act as a catalyst in general, to increase the awareness of planetary consciousness, is he of any aid in that direction, or is he doing nothing but acting upon himself? Ra. I am Ra. We shall answer your question in two parts, both of which are important equally. First, you must understand that the distinction between yourself and others is not visible to us. We do not consider that a separation exists between the consciousness raising efforts of the distortion which you project as a personality and the distortion that you project as another personality. Thus, to learn is the same as to teach unless you are not teaching what you are learning, in which case you have done you, them, little good. This understanding should be pondered by your mind and body spirit complex, as it is a distortion which plays a part in your experiences at this nexus. To turn to the second part of a response, may we state our understanding limited though it is. Group individuated consciousness is the state of sharing understanding with the other distortions of mind body spirit complexes, which are within the evident reach of the mind body spirit complex individual or group. Thus we are speaking to you and accepting both our distortions and your own in order to enunciate the laws of creation, more especially the law of one. We are not available to many of your people, for this is not an easily understood way of communicating or type of philosophy. However, our very being is hopefully a poignant example of both the necessity and the near hopelessness of attempting to teach. Each of those in this group is striving to use, digest, and diversify the information which we are sending this instrument into the channel of the mind, body, spirit complex without distortion. 
The few whom you will illuminate by sharing your light are for th- far more than enough reason for the greatest possible effort. To serve one is to serve all. Therefore, we offer the question back to you to state that indeed it is only activity worth doing to learn, teach, or teach learn. There is nothing else which is an aid in demonstrating the original thought except your very being, and the distortions that come from the unexplained, inarticulate, or mystery clad being of many. Thus, to attempt to discern and weave your way through as many group mind, body, spirit distortions as possible among your people in the course of your teaching is a very good effort to make. We can speak no more valiantly of your desire to serve. May we speak in any other capacity upon this subject? Questioner, will you be available for communication? Can we call on you in the future? Ra, I am Ra. We have good contact with this instrument because of her recent experiences with trance. She is able to communicate our thoughts in your future. However, we advise care in disturbing the channel for a few moments, and when the proper procedure for aiding an instrument who has, to some extent, the need of re-entering the mind-body-spirit complex, which the instrument has chosen for the life experience of this time-space. Do you understand how to nurture this instrument? Questioner. No. Could you explain it? Ra. We suggest first a brief period of silence, then the repetition of the instrument's vibratory complex of sound in your density, which you call name. Repeat until an answer is obtained then the laying of the hands at the neck region for a brief period, so that the instrument may recharge batteries which are not, shall we say, full of the essence of this particular field at this time, and finally a gift of water into which the love of all present has been given. This will restore this entity, for her distortions contain great sensitivity towards the vibrations of love and the charged water will affect comfort. Do you now understand? Questioner, not completely. Raw. I am Ra. We search your mind to find the vibration, nickname. It is this vibration from which contains the largest amount of what you would call love. Others would call us entity, first name. The charging of the water is done by those present, placing their hands over the glass and visualizing the power of love entering the water. This will charge the very effective medium with those vibrations. This instrument is, at this time, quite fatigued. However, her heart is such that she continues to remain open to us and useful as a channel. This is why we have spent the time space explaining how the distortions of what you call fatigue may be ameliorated. Under no circumstance should this instrument be touched until she has responded to her name. I do not wish to take this instrument beyond her capacity for physical energy. It grows low. Therefore, I must leave this instrument. I leave you in the glory and peace of unity. Go forth in peace, rejoicing in the power of the one Creator. I am Ra. Session 2, January 20th, 1981. Ra. I am Ra. I greet you in the love and light of our infinite Creator. I am with this mind, body, spirit complex which has offered itself for a channel. I communicate with you. Queries are in order in your projections of mind, distortions of this time space. Thusly would I assure this group that my own social memory complex has one particular method of communicating with those few who may be able to harmonize their distortion with ours, and that is to respond to queries for information. We are now comfortable with this format. May the queries now begin. Questioner. I am guessing that there are enough people who would understand what you are saying, who would be interested enough in it, for us to make a book of your communications, and I wondered if you would agree to this. If so, I was thinking that possibly a bit of historical background of yourselves might be in order. Ra. I am Ra. The possibility of communication, as you would call it, from the one to the one, through distortion, acceptable for meaning, is the reason we contacted this group. There are few who will grasp, without significant distortion, that which we communicate through this connection with this mind-body-spirit complex. However, if it be your desire to share our communication with others, we have the distortion towards a perception that this would be most helpful in regularizing and crystallizing your own patterns of vibrations upon the levels of experience which you call life. If one is illumined, are not all illumined? 
Therefore, we are oriented towards speaking for you in whatever supply of speakingness you may desire. To teach, learn, is the law of one in one of its most elementary distortions. Question. Could you tell us something of your historical background and your contact with earlier races on this planet? Then we would have something to start with. I am Ra. We are aware that your mind-body is calculating the proper method of performing the task of creating a teach-learning instrument. We are aware that you find our incarnate, as you call it, state of interest. We waited for a second query so as to emphasize that the time-space of several thousand of your years creates a spurious type of interest. Thus, in giving this information, we ask the proper lack of stress be placed upon our experiences in your local space-time. The teach, learning, which is our responsibility, is philosophical rather than historical. We shall proceed with your request, which is harmless if properly evaluated. We are those of the Confederation who 11,000 of your years ago came to two of your planetary cultures which were at that time closely in touch with the creation of the One Creator. It was our naive belief that we could teach, learn by direct contact, and that the free will distortions of individual feelings or personality were in no danger. We had no thought of their being disturbed, as these cultures were already closely aligned with an all-embracing belief in the liveness or consciousness of all. We came and were welcomed by the people whom we wished to serve. We attempted to aid them in technical ways having to do with the healing of mind, body, spirit complex distortions, through the use of crystal, appropriate to the distortion, placed within a certain appropriate series of ratios of time, space, material. Thus were the pyramids created. We found that the technology was reserved largely for those with the effectual mind-body distortions of power. This was not intended by the Law of One. We left your people. The group that was to work with those in the area of South America, as you call that portion of your sphere, gave up not so easily. They returned. We did not. However, we have never left your vibration due to our responsibility for the changes in consciousness we had first caused, and then found distorted in ways not relegated to the Law of One. We attempted to contact the rulers of the land to which we had come that land which you call Egypt, or in some cases the Holy Land. In the 18th dynasty, as it is known in your records of space-time distortions, we were able to contact a pharaoh, as you would call him. The man was small in life experience on your plane, and was a, what this instrument would call, wander. Thus, this mind-body-spirit complex received our communication distortions, and was able to blend his distortions with our own. This young entity had been given a vibratory complex of sound which vibrated in honor of a prosperous God. As this mind-body complex, which we call instrument for convenience, would call Amon. The entity decided that this name, being in honor of one among many gods, was not acceptable for inclusion in his vibratory sound complex. Thus he changed his name to one which honored the sun disk. This distortion, called Atan, was a close distortion to our reality as we understood our own nature of mind-body-spirit complex distortion. However, it does not come totally into alignment with the intended teach-learning which was sent. This entity, Ignaton, became convinced that the vibration of one was the true spiritual vibration and thus decreed the law of one. However, this entity's beliefs were accepted by very few. His priests gave lip service only without the spiritual distortion towards seeking. The people continued in their beliefs. When this entity was no longer in its density, again the polarized beliefs in the many gods came into their own and continued so until the one known as Muhammad delivered the people into a more intelligible distortion of mind-body-spirit relationship. Do you have a more detailed interest at this time? Question. We are very interested in the entire story that you have to tell and getting into the Law of One in quite some detail. There will be several questions that I'll ask as we go along that may or may not be related directly to understanding the Law of One. However, I believe that the proper way of presenting this as a teach-learning vehicle is to investigate different facets of what you tell us. You spoke of crystal healing. One other thing I want to mention is that when the instrument becomes fatigued, we want to cut off communication and continue questions at a later time when the instrument is recharged. 
if the instrument is suitable at this time, we would like a little information about the crystal heel that you mentioned. Ra. I am Ra. The principle of crystal healing is based upon an understanding of the hierarchical nature of the structure of the illusion, which is the physical body as you would call it. There are crystals which work upon the energies coming into the spiritual body. There are crystals which work upon the distortions from spirit to mind. There are crystals which balance the distortions between the mind and the body. All of these crystal healings are charged through purified channels. Without the relative crystallization of the healer working with the crystal, the crystal will not be properly charged. The other ingredient is the proper alignment with the energy fields of the planet upon which you dwell and the holistic or cosmic distortions or streamings which enter the planetary aura in such a manner that an appropriate ratio of shapes and placement within these shapes is an indicated aid in the untangling or balancing process. To go through the various crystals to be used would be exhaustive to this instrument, although you may ask us if you wish in another session. The delicacy, shall we say, of choosing of the crystal is very critical. In truth, a crystalline structure, such as a diamond or ruby, can be used by a purified channel who is filled with the love light of one in almost any application. This, of course, takes initiation, and there never have been many to preserve to the extent of progressing through the various distortions, leavings, which initiation causes. May we further inform you in any fairly brief way upon this or any other subject. Question. Yes, you mentioned the pyramids were an outgrowth of this. Could you expand a little on that? Were you responsible for the building of the pyramid? And what was the purpose of the pyramid? Ra. I am Ra. The larger pyramids were built by our ability, using the forces of one. The stones are alive. It has not been so understood by the mind, body, spirit distortions of your culture. The purpose of the pyramids were two. Firstly, to have a properly oriented place of initiation for those who wish to become purified or initiated channels for the law of one. Two, we wish then to carefully guide the initiates in developing a healing of the people whom they sought to aid and of the planet itself. Pyramid after pyramid charged by the crystal and initiate were designed to balance the incoming energy of the one creation with the many and multiple distortions of the planetary mind, body, spirit. In this effort, we were able to continue work that brothers within the Confederation had effected through building of other crystal-bearing structures, and thus complete a ring, if you will, of these about the earth, as this instrument would have us vibrated surface. This instrument begins to lose energy. We ask for one more query or subject, and then we shall take our leave for this time space. Question. You might mention that originally there was a capstone on the pyramid at the top, what was it made of and how you moved the heavy block to build a pyramid? What technique was used for that? Ra. I am Ra. I request that we be asked this question in our next work time, as you would term the distortion sharing that our energies produce. If you have a question about the proper use of this mind, body, spirit, we would appreciate your asking them now. Question. Consider then asked. I don't have anything to go on. What is the proper use of this instrument? What should we do? What should we do to maximize her ability and her comfort? I am Ra. We are pleased that you have asked this question, for it is not our understanding that we have the right or duty to share our perceptions on any subject but philosophy without direct question. However, this mind, body, spirit is not being correctly used and therefore is experiencing unnecessary distortions of body in the area of fatigue. The vibration may well be purified by a simple turning to the circle of one and the verbal vibration while doing so at the following dialogue. Question. What is the law? Answer. The law of one. Question. Why are we here? Answer. We seek the law of one. Question. Why do we seek Ra? Answer. Ra is a humble messenger of the law of one. Both together. Rejoice then and purify this place in the law of one. Let no thought form enter the circle we have walked about this instrument for the law of one. The instrument this time should be in a trance. The proper alignment is the head pointed 20 degrees north by northeast. This is the direction from which the newer or new age distortions of love light, which are less distorted, are emanating. And this instrument will find comfort therein. 
This is a sensitive instrument, by which we mean the distortions which enter her mind-body-spirit complex come from any of her senses. Thus it is well to do the following. Place at the entity's head a virgin chalice of water. To the center, the book most closely aligned with the instrument's mental distortions, which are allied most closely with the Law of One, that being the Bible that she touches most frequently. To the other side of the Bible, a small amount of sense or incense in a virgin censer. To the rear of the book, symbolizing one, open to the Gospel of John, chapter 1, a white candle. The instrument would be strengthened by the wearing of a white robe. The instrument shall be covered in prone, the eyes covered. We feel that, though this is a complex of active circumstance, and may seem very distorted from a purposeful teach-learning experience. These elaborations on the technique of trance will ease the mind distortions of those about the instrument as they perceive improvement in the instrument's distortions with regard to fatigue. We add only that if these teach-learning sessions are held during time-space during which your son body does not light your room, that it is best to call the instrument before the lighting of the illuminatory mechanism. I am raw. I leave you in the glory and the peace of the one Creator. Rejoice in the law of light and go forth in the power of the one Creator. In joy we leave you. Adonai.